Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, welcome to Death Valley. This is Death Valley and man, it feels different here. For one, to me, I could sense that we are at the bottom of an ocean at some point in time. I just swear I feel this was all ocean bed. What's interesting was um, on the other side of the state line, before we started descending, it was actually really cool. It's like 71 degrees. Now we're up into the low 80s, and it's going to be getting more and more uh, warm as we go. You look out, and man, it looks like it's low tide at the beach if you look at the distance. And so I'm going to take you for a ride. And just to give you an idea what it looks like here. Thank you guys, and we have Zeke with us. I'm gonna hand you off to my lovely assistant. Yeah, so we've gained 10 degrees since we started yeah, about you know maybe 20 miles back to me it, it really looks like we are looking at the bottom of an ocean bed you know it even has that muddy appearance in the distance right now you know the salt flats are in the distance off to the left Does this look like a Martian landscape to you? Do you think maybe this is where they filmed some of the stuff from Mars? And they're just playing with us. There's definitely an unusual vibe here. As some of you might know, you know, eventually we'll get to be well below sea level, like a thousand feet below sea level. just to take you guys on a little bit of a ride through Death Valley. You know, it's, it's actually a huge tourist spot. You might not think this would be a tourist destination, but there's a lot of people that come here, especially from Europe, from France, Germany, UK. Seems, seems like there's more people uh, that speak French than like some of the other languages. But I guess a lot of people want to say they survived Death Valley. And just looking at it, it really makes me think about when we've had the great cataclysms in the past and what might be, you know, just in our, possibly our immediate future. This really looks like when we look at Google Earth, and we look under the ocean, it looks a lot like this. It really does. So I gotta wonder, you know, was, was a lot of this created by the water rushing over? When we had pole shifts in the past, when we had basically uh, crustal displacement events, as I shared with you, you know, the string of the Hawaiian Islands, you can see that plume, if you look at Google Earth, that created the Hawaiian Islands. Well, it goes all the way over to Siberia, it goes to the Kamchatka Peninsula, and it also has about 100, 
100, 110 degree churn in it, which at some point shows the crust moved dramatically. So, I mean, is this all from water rushing over at some point in time? It wouldn't be hard to imagine that. You know, there was an inland sea in California at one point in time. So you guys feel like you're on Mars yet? So my, my wife's been in this area a long time. So to her, yeah, this is what she's used to. But definitely to people from other places, this is about as foreign as another planet. So we're, we're westbound, heading deeper into California. We're heading towards China Lake, Ridgecrest, that area. talked about the legends in here, you know, of this lost cities underground here that possibly are evidence of past cataclysms where the survivors had to go inside, the people that survived went inside. You know, there's so many 